What's up everybody? My name is CJ Faison and this is my dog Courage. He is on a ghost adventure with us tonight. And when I say us, I'm talking about everyone watching this video and um, my dog Courage and I. So, uh, real quick before I do get into this video, I have to give the credit to this video to Omar. He's the one who had the idea of taking a dog ghost hunting. As most of you know, dogs are pretty sensitive. They, they can sense things that we can't, they can see things that we can't. And that's exactly what I've got Courage here for tonight. Uh, I wasn't planning on filming a video, but I was working here late. I am alone up here, unfortunately. And as I was walking to the bathroom, all I saw was a shadow figure, literal walk right in front of me. I'm like, hang on, I got courage. I might as well try to film a video and see if there's anything that happens, see if we can catch anything on camera. So uh, Courage was a rescue dog. If you don't know much about rescuing dogs, I highly recommend it. Um, best decision I ever made in my life was to rescue him because initially he rescued me as well. So um, Courage and I, we're going to take you all ghost hunting tonight. I hope you all enjoy this video. Smash the like button for Courage. Do it for Courage. You don't have to do it for me. Right, Curry? Say smash the like button for me. <laughs> All right, let's get going. If you've not seen the previous videos here, I would highly recommend going to the link in the description, watching those videos. As most of you know, um, this place is extremely haunted, especially at nighttime. There's a lot of shadow figures that can be seen. Come on, Curry. Come on. He like hesitated to come in here. Um, so a lot of shadow figures have been seen here at nighttime, especially by our staff that works around the clock. Those are only around the time from February until like late April, um, early May. Uh, so it's, it's, it's scary. It is very scary. The last time I was here was with Sonny. I've had several things happen. I've had chairs thrown like you see in this clip right here. I've also had the fan randomly just fall over right in front of me. And I believe what it is is Brink, the spirit of Brink. And if you don't know that story, go to part one technically or the first video I filmed here. I'm going to label it as part one in the description. But uh, go to part one and uh, check that out because what I really need you all to get across is that I think just from reading your all's comments, I think that Brink is actually trying to just communicate in a very weird way. Um, he can say his name, he can say buddy, that's what he used to call me as a kid when I was growing up. George, what are you locked eyes on? What is it? What is it, buddy? What do you see? You good, bud? Brink, if you're in here, buddy, I just want to say that I'm I'm back and I'm filming a video and I want to introduce you to somebody really special. This is my dog Courage here and he's with me tonight. So if you don't mind, just try not to scare him too bad, but can you uh can you come and communicate with us? What is it, buddy? You see something? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. I start the spirit box session every single video right here um, because this was the area that Brink was always in. If you ever wanted to find Brink, he was gonna be inside the warehouse part of uh, this building, which was so, so huge. This building goes on and I've not even scratched the surface. Uh, again, the only reason I'm doing these videos for you all is because you all are loving it. Like, you're really, really loving it. So, I'll keep doing these and I'll go to different parts of the building as long as you all want to see that. Um, that's definitely one thing that I will assure you I can and will do. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's open up the Necrophonic app. What are you looking at? You see something? Courage is looking off this way. Hello? Hmm. Okay. Alright, so 
just like the past videos, let's get contact. Hopefully it's Brink. Hopefully it's not the other spirit. Again, I will not say that spirit's name because if you do say that spirit's name, I promise you, you are in for the worst night of your life. One of the worst nights of your life, at least. Brink, are you here with me? Brink, can you say your name? Can, Brink, can you repeat that? Already did? Kinda? Of. That was a hey. Brink, can, can you confirm that you knock the fan over? The last time I was filming with this thing, did you knock the can? Did you knock the camera? Did you knock the fan over? There's a lot of interference. Brink, if you're here with me, buddy, can can you say yes or make? Let me know that you're here somehow. You okay, Curry? What was that? Hello? Holy shit. Curry, what was that? Brink, was that your way of making communication with me? Do you not want to talk through the spirit box? Brink, was that you? Come out? What's the spirit's name that is present right now? I can feel you. Ralph. Whoa. Okay, Brink, so this is you then, correct? Wow, okay. Brink, did you knock that fan over in my last video? Almost like a whisper of no. Brink, can you say the word fan? I almost sound like a fan. All right, come on, Curry, buddy. Coming? Holy shit! You good, buddy? You okay? Holy shit, that thing's knocked down. Holy shit. Courage is terrified right now. Brink, are you trying to get my attention right now?
Hey, Courage has got his tail tucking under right now. Brink, was that you? You good, Curry? So, as most of you know, back here is pretty uh, creepy. Uh, we never had any activity witnessed back here, ever. And then, as I undid, as I undid the alarm, I walked right around there, and I thought I heard something tapping in this general area. And then this fan right here just, bam! falls right off the desk now obviously you can like tilt that fan like just about any way that you want to and it's it's not coming off the desk unless it's pushed like that so that was really weird um i'll play that clip for you right now holy shit holy shit holy shit Hello? Holy shit, I thought I, I think I got that on camera. As you can see, super, super weird. I don't, I'm not getting like a weird vibe in here. Courage is, he's not even wagging his tail. There it is, you okay buddy? Do you sense anything here, huh? You good? Come on, buddy. Okay, you heard that too, right? It sounded like a knock over here, just a slight knock or tap. I don't know why we randomly have a chair, but... Brink, are you back here right now? I want to know why you're you're back here. This is kind of rare. All right, that was a noise right upstairs. All right, Curry, come on, let's go upstairs, buddy. Let me get an extra battery because I know I'm gonna run out here in just a few minutes. I don't have much life on these batteries. They go through them quick. Um, all right, I got two left here. So, um, Courage, if you know my dog, like you see how his tail is tucked under? If you've seen him on any of my vlogs, you know that Courage literally can like it's almost like he can't stop wagging his tail. So when his tail is not wagging, come on, look, he's it's okay. Come on, come on, you're good. I I halfway feel kind of weird, um, and terrible. I'm obviously not going to put my dog in harm. Um, I definitely don't want that to happen. So. Um, but I, I just wanted to use him to see if if he can sense anything. And I, I definitely think he senses something because his tail is always wagging. Um, so I'm a little nervous to take him up to the uh, clown attic up here. But um, 
you know, we'll spend a couple minutes up there. It's okay, buddy. Love you. Love you. You okay? And obviously, I am a huge dog lover and advocate for saving animals, not putting them in harm's way, but um, I definitely think dogs are a good sense of judgment. So, um, I don't know. I kind of feel weird taking them up here to the attic. I really do. But we'll go up there and we'll see. It's, it's, I'm not going to try and communicate. I'm, we're just going to go up there and listen. All right, buddy? Okay. Let's go up here. I think he just caught us. Wind of that clown. You all right? What is it? What is it, buddy? What is it? Uh-oh, my battery's dying all of a sudden. Okay, now we're ready. You don't have to come up here, buddy. You can stay right there. It's okay. Yeah, he senses something. You don't have to you don't have to go. You can stay there, buddy. It's okay. I don't want I don't want you doing anything that you don't want to do. There's something about this clown, I'm telling y'all. Curry, you okay? You don't have to come up here, buddy. You don't. You can stay down there. It's okay. Um. Phew. All right, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. You're good. You're good. Hey, you don't have to have your tail down. Come on. Let's go outside for a second. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's okay. You're good. You're good, Curry. You're good. You're good, Curry. I love you so much, buddy. I do. I love you. Okay, so, um... I don't know. I I think, um... Buddy, I think, uh... I think you've, you've kind of proven to me and to everyone <laughs> that first off, you're a trooper. Second of all, that the haunted attic is absolutely just messed up. Um, that attic is has got a lot going on. And for my dog courage not to follow me up that attic, there's two things that this dog always does. Will never leave my side, number one. Number two, like you can see his tail. It's wagging like crazy, because we're outside. There's negative energy inside of that attic, 110%. You good, Curry. Girl, you good? I love you, buddy. Mm. I love you so much. I do. I do, courage. I do. So, um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think this is going to lead into maybe uh, possibly another video. And um, I'm definitely not going to take courage up in the attic. I, he just, he obviously doesn't feel comfortable. I'm not going to put my dog in any situation that could harm him, hurt him, scare him, or anything. Um, but I think he's a really good judge of character. And I think for everyone who is watching tonight, if you all want to see me come back and do another video here up in the attic and extensively stay, maybe, maybe I stay the night. I want to stay the night, maybe. That will be kind of cool. I will absolutely do that for you all. So I just want to say I love you all so much. I want to thank you for supporting this channel. And uh, obviously you probably saw I was wearing some really cool Honeycut merch. Uh, update real quick on the Honeycut Farm. Season two is coming soon. And uh, you know what that means. So if you want to get this exact sweatshirt, it's the black camo. I call it like ghost camo because you can't really tell it's camo until you get real close to it. Um, it has Honeycup Farm logo on it. Uh, you can go to shopmotivated.com, get that. Use promo code COURAGE at checkout.
right there, courage. I like that promo code, courage. Oh, buddy, I love you so much. All right, love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Comment below if y'all want me to come back and do an investigation because uh, my man here, he proved that's haunted. Thank you.